Hey everybody and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I am Scott Ramp. I am one of your hosts. And I'm uh, your other host. My name is Noelle McAvoy. And if you can see, by, we'll tell by that generic music, we're without ASAP today. Yes, we're without a lot of things today. It's going to be a nice a little things. short show for you guys. We got some <laughs> art clips um, for you guys to get um, artsy this weekend because oh, it's good. going to rain, oh. unfortunately. The weather is looking a little glum, but of course it should... Things should clear by Sunday, so Sunday, Monday should be a really good day, a nice sunny. Nice. Back to our um, touch of summer, but still spring, so it's going to be nice and cool. Um, but we, it is Friday, and we have a Flagship Friday video of the week. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. And, got uh, events, got, got events. community events for you guys. I've got a, like, it's, Missoula has lots of music going on this weekend, so lots of music, lots of kids programs. Yeah, stuff to keep you indoors. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's talk about a little bit about the weather right now. So okay. it is currently, it is cold this morning. It was okay. a really cold this yeah, morning. It's so it, chilly. Like there is a chance of snow. What? It's that cold. Holy cow. So if you take a look at our weather, um, it is currently 36 degrees outside. Um, you have a 30% chance of rain, snow mixtures. Tonight you have a 50% chance of showers. Saturday you have a low chance of showers. But it, honestly, it has been um, fairly um, just okay. Yeah, it kind of You know, has. it's like, it, it, like they say it's going to be 20, 30 percent chances of rain, mm -hmm. and it doesn't really rain that much, but when it does, it's like, it's just kind of there, you know, just it's nice true. little spring showers that'll bring the, um... May flowers! Yep, oh. and then the June fires. And the June fires, can't wait. Well, yeah, it was so nice in March, and then April, like, the first couple weeks has been nice, and the last few weeks have just been, like, rainy, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I have homework to do. I, it's hard to do homework when it's nice out. No. But, of course, <laughs> uh, before we, um... Um, tell you uh, do some social networking. We do have a there was a story in the paper today that really just kind of mm. stood out, and it was a, of our very own Senator um, Conrad Burns. And um, Conrad Burns uh, was kind of was here at the um, inception of MCAT from the beginning, and he was senator for the state of Montana for 18 years before wow. John Tester um, took him out um, in 2008. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's about that's about when it happened. So uh, yeah. he enjoyed a nice retirement for the last eight years, um, and then he, he died away. at the age of eighty one. And of course, uh, in the paper, it said that he he liked to um, chew tobacco and he, he liked to use a, a switch blade knife as a toothpick. Yeah, good old Montana boy, for sure. But we have a really nice photo for you guys of Conrad Burns, and um, I don't know who this woman is. She is Mary, and she was one of the uh, early. Um, MCAT ladies. For yeah. Sure. So here's a nice little picture of them. Aww. Conrad Burns and Mary, I think it's Mary Canteen. Yes. Inception of MCAT 26 years ago. Yeah. That's great. I'm not sure if it exactly was the, he was there for the inception, but he was there in support of a public access station here back in the day. In the oh. 90s. Thanks, Conrad Burns and um, RIP. Oh. Sorry, you're dead. I'm <laughs> just kidding, that's terrible. But yes, he will definitely be missed. And he, yeah, I didn't know he was a senator for that long. Yeah, he, he was that's quite, awesome. quite some time. You know, he, he like I from I from when I was growing up, when I, all my youth and school days, it's all about Conrad Burns. All about Mr. Burns. Yep. And then when I actually started, you know, paying attention, which, you know, happened way later, way <laughs> later. Uh, is that, that's when John Tester took his seat. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, I didn't know he was there. And then, of course, Max Bacchus was there, I mean, just as long. It, like, they kind of, like, rivaled each other because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, one was a Democrat, one was a pro Republican. Oh. <laughs> coming up, coming next fall in Montana. Yeah, Montana <laughs> the odd <couple>. politics. <laughs> the odd couple. <laughs> Something like that, you guys, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, you can find out more information about Wake Up Missoula. And this, if you went to the Missoulian, remember the Missoulian today at Missoulian.com. But of course, you can find out more information about our show, mm -hmm. which is even better, uh, at wakeupmissoula.wakes.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice, we made you write it out twice. You could like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. You can follow MCAT on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook. And to find out more information about us, just check us out on MCAT.org. Yes, and I do want to um, give a nice little shout out to the um, the commissioners um, because um, Missoula uh, County Commissioners had a hearing uh, about the uh, the library placement bond and on the November ballot. So, oh, good. Um, the library is um, asking for money because mm -hmm. they want to build a whole brand new library, and of course, I don't want to sound biased, but 
we're going to hopefully be in that library. Yes. So we hopefully. pretty much are looking forward to that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to be like a library slash community center. They're going to have, you know, the library and then all these other different groups that will be in there to help the community out. Like yeah, you Epcot. got um, Missoula, um, uh, the Children's Museum. Mm -hmm. You got Spectrum Discovery Center. Mm -hmm. um, we would be in there. We would be in MCAT, there. MCAT, yep. yep. So all these awesome, we would have, you know, children's programs between the three, children's museum, Spectrum, and us. We have great children's programs. We are yeah. a good community center. Yep, library so would be awesome. Library is the future community center yeah. for Missoula. I, it's better than the Marriott Hotel like they want. <laughs> Really Marriott library. Well, it's, library is a little more welcoming to the public. Oh yeah, Marriott's totally. more like if you don't got the green, you exit can't the walk scene. in. Yeah. Oh, that was good stuff. Right? Don't got the green, exit the scene. Yeah, you like that? I just made that up on the That's spot. That's so good. I it love was, that. I'm gonna use that all the time. Yeah. Like, if you ain't got the green, you must leave the scene. Do you guys hear that? It's perfect. Yep, I'm gonna yeah, use that now. Yeah. And then with a staff. Well, if the glove don't fit, you must equip. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, OJ. Oh, OJ. I watched that series. My favorite murderer. I watched the uh, series uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. was OJ Simpson. Oh, really? It was such a good series. Was it good? It was so good. I didn't know they made it into a series. Like, the ending was just like, oh. I mean, like, you already know what had happened at the end, but when it just ended abruptly. It oh, was really? just like, done. I was like, oh, okay. Ah, mm. Okay. Good job. <laughs> uh, like, the, the last thing was just like the... Um, the, like the parents of uh, the victims, and it's like, what are we gonna do now? <laughs> <laughs> the end. Don't laugh. I didn't know. Uh, I yeah, never, I, I guess it's my own um, interpretation. Yeah, your interpretation's <laughs> funny. Like, come on, Scott. You can't be funny and then be like, don't laugh. Don't laugh. Stop <laughs> laughing. Stop. Stop stopping. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> <Asap! laughs> It's only me and you today. <laughs> And maybe the, <laughs> some of the viewers are watching right now. Maybe some of the viewers. Hey, viewers. No. <laughs> but of course, we have one new program on tonight. Oh, cool. And okay. um, that is um, Wilderness Issues Lecture Series. It's a forever ongoing series that will constantly be going as long as Ron Scholl, our very own Ron Scholl, is still alive. Yes. And this is one of his very first um, lecture series that he kind of um, started doing. Yeah, yeah spearheaded. And mm -hmm. which turned it into more of like a, a job job here at MCAT. So he mm -hmm. became media assistance grants as a way for MCAT, not only uh, people to come in and produce their own shows here at MCAT, but also for MCAT staff to go out Mm -hmm. And um, basically use the skills that we pick up over the years and, of course, through schooling um, to show Missoulians what Missoula is all about. It's true. And very well yeah. produced. We shorts. film discussions, events, lectures, poetry um, slams, organizations. Yeah, like, you know, if you are a nonprofit and you've got something going on, you can fill out our media assistance grants. And you can, if you will go to MCAT.org for me, Scott. Yes, so I just will. go to MCAT.org. And then go to forms right there, and then you can just fill out a forms, fill out a media assistant grant application. We give you guys 12 hours free, so it's 12 hours of editing, filming, and everything that you need to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we put but it on our channel. You must be a nonprofit. Yeah, you do have to be a nonprofit. Yeah, and then we put it on our channel. And then, you know, obviously give it to you for future use. And speaking so, of putting it on our channel, mm -hmm. um, here is a little taste of what you guys can see tonight on MCAT. And when we come back, Noel will talk about events. Yes. Um, examples of some of these high wage service sector positions. Everything from looking at kind of the CEOs of, of big corporate uh, and high tech industries, looking at information and utility positions, uh, professional and scientific uh, arenas, such as many of you in this room, looking in the academic sector, uh, the university, um, real estate, uh, wholesale trade, um, all of these positions uh, earning a high wage but being a footloose economic framework in general. Um, why is it that people want to live here? Well, I certainly don't need to tell you in this room about that, but effectively what it is is these quality of life attributes. The fact that people want clean air, they want clean water, they want a safer community, they want less people. Hi you guys, we're back and this is what's going on in your community. Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't know what just happened. Ah. Okay. <laughs> now we're back, um, and this is what's going on in your community. As always, on Fridays, I kind of like to highlight on the kids' activities that are going on, just because I know sometimes uh, parents don't, don't go to work on Fridays, or they pull their kids out of school. 
Uh, so this is what's going on for your little ones uh, starting this morning. So at 9 a.m. over parent yoga, so this is for you and your kids, and you can just do yoga while your little ones either do yoga too or hang out. Yeah, it starts at 9 until 9.45. Over at Missoula YMCA, we've got family fun time starting at 9.30. This is, uh, they've got comfy chairs and couches for the parents. And then the children have lots of different activities. So wear them out and get them tired. And then we also have family fun time, but this is at Missoula Gymnastics. Starts at 9.30. This is an open gym for ages walking to 12 years. Over at the Children's Museum of Missoula, they're making paper bag trees in honor of Arbor Day that starts at 11. And then also at 11, over at Taste Buds Kitchen is our pretzel twist workshop. This is at ages 2 to 6, um, and it's 20 bucks. Over at Roots Acro Sports Center at 11 p.m. is there a preschool play group. This is for ages walking to 5 years. They set up different activities and stations around the gym, and then parents and children get to choose and rotate what they want to do, or rotate and choose, you know. Uh, at 4, over at the Missoula Butterfly House and Insectarium, we have got Rosie the Chilean rose hair tarantula. They will be feeding her, which I still have yet to, do, to see, but it always looks like it's going to be pretty sweet. It sounds like it's cool. Uh, okay, so there's, you know, Missoula is a land of nonprofits as well as a land of marches. We love marching. So there's a Give Local Community March at 5 p.m. tonight. <laughs> I know. That's ridiculous. I know, I know. That's why I had to talk about it because it's really ridiculous. It is completely ridiculous. So you can march from the X's to Karis Park to celebrate our community and all of its wonderful nonprofits in the advance of Give Local Missoula County 2016. This is so ridiculous. I don't know why we have to march. To do I bet I have to local. film it. I bet you do too. No, yeah, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to film it. Well, and also, like, we're marching, like, you know, they're, like, marching for causes. But this is just get local. Marching for money. Marching for money. Because if you don't have the green, you must leave the scene. Marching for money. God, Scott, you're on top of it today. All this no sleep is making you quick and witty. <laughs> Maybe it's just, like, all that um, energy just kind of, like, holds me back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I had to read that because I thought that was so funny. It is really funny. I was laughing out yeah. loud. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. But you guys have March for Money starting at 5. <laughs> okay, now we're moving on. Uh, and then we have some music for this evening. This is like your, yeah, like early evening music if you're chilling at a brewery or going over the distillery before the bars. So you've got live music with Urban Shaman at Imagination at 6. I'm, I'm going to have to talk a little bit about Imagination Brewing Company because okay. I had a shoot okay. at Imagination Brewing Company yesterday. And it was the first time I've been to Imagination yeah, Brewing I've Company. Yeah, I've never been in there. And it was the first time that everyone else from Give Local was um, th their first time at Imagination Brewing Company. And it, when you walk in there and you go in there, it's like, huh, okay. Really? Yeah, it's like, hmm. Do you like it? It's was it bad. nice? They have kombucha on, chap on tap. Oh, good, perfect. Yeah. And Scott loves kombucha and he doesn't drink, so yes. that's perfect for yeah, you. It's, it's the best way of drinking without drunk. Dude, I love that. That's so great. That makes me happy that you were able to go in there and drink kombucha. It was awesome. They had like yeah. a raspberry stuff, but that's yeah. just neither here nor there. And it was just like, it's like a common practice that you, when you go there and you see people there, it's like, this is my first time here. Yeah. It's like, really? This is my first time here. It's like, really? Huh? Hmm. Huh. Well, I've never and been there And then just like, it's really awkward and we're just like really quiet and we're just really like, we're just soaking it in because there's just so many people who are there for the first time who are yeah. just like, huh. Hmm. What do you think of this place? Yeah. I've mm. never been in there mm. either, um, but they always have really great community events. I just like that they're really community oriented. I saw some guys who were walking from the POV, just like outside the window, and they were just like, like the, both of them were carrying sleeping bags, just like past the window. I'm just like, that's <laughs> so bad. Totally. I know they shouldn't have put it across the street from the POV. No, no, or maybe the POV shouldn't have been across the street from there. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> oh, okay, I, that's I, terrible. here nor there. Yeah, neither, neither. No, but they've been playing there the pop no forever. There. The Imagination Brewing Company was just kind of like there. There, it just. I remember there. we were actually talking about it. About um, uh, oh yeah, they're gonna put a bar across the street from a, a, a dry homeless shelter. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I guess breweries are kind of different than what uh, transients are looking for. You yeah. Know? When I've experienced and when I've come in contact with them, they just want like cheap beer quick rather than being in a brewery setting. Yeah. So I, fi I figure that they probably don't have much of a problem. But 
I, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. Like, I went in there and it was just like, oh, I don't necessarily go into a place and look for, oh, he looks homeless. Yeah, right. It's in Missoula. Everyone looks homeless. Yeah, we all look homeless. <laughs> yeah, it's that's true. Like, that's a very um, <laughs> big thing to say. I very hope Missoula nobody takes thing. offense from that. Or actually, I kind of hope people do take offense I kind of hope people do. And you can comment on our Facebook page or our Twitter page. <laughs> Let us know if you don't feel like you look homeless. Start a march. <laughs> Start a march. <laughs> Start a march downtown and be like, oh, wake up, Missoula said that everyone in <laughs> Missoula is homeless. Homeless. Yeah. <laughs> Although, if everyone has a home in Missoula, then where are the homes? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's let's All right, move on. There's let's my story. <laughs> I'll let you finish for Friday. Thanks, Scott. Okay. So, Urban Shaman is an Imagination Brewing Company at six. Uh, we've got traditional Irish music, the Union Club at six. Night Blooming Jasmine is a Missoula Brewing Company at six. Wolf in the Moons is a Montana Distillery, also at six. Um, and so, you know, you've got lots, a wide variety of places you can choose from. Uh, okay, so over at Free Cycles is Pedal Fest 2.0, day two. And I talked about Pedal Fest, uh, I do believe, Wednesday. And so what Pedal Fest is. is <laughs> that was 1.0. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Pedal Fest was 1.0. Part it's one or? Part one, this is 2.0, part day two. Oh, God. And so Pedal Fest is just a little campaign fundraiser to give back to Free Cycles, you know, to help them reach their $1 million mark, which is going to be the deadline for that. That is coming up in a couple weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't think they even have 100,000. I think. Oh, I'll stop interrupting. You. I know. I have no idea. I don't they know. They don't even have 100,000. I know. I don't know. They have lots of options, though. Yeah. Yeah. They're talking about, yeah. I mean, they, 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 they're not. I don't want to, like, necessarily say this. This might detour getting the money, but also at the same time, it's just like the people who own the property, they just want to buy the property. Yeah. And they just said, this is a good time to put this campaign out. But the people who own the property are just like, oh, you can stay there. We're cool with you. Yeah, totally. It's not like one of those things where it's like, oh, you're going to have to either buy this place or get out. Yeah, I. that's what I've heard, too. And they also, like, have the options of, like, buying a house and because they've got enough money to buy a house, maybe. I don't know. Like, or an apartment, or I don't know. Well, you know, like, and that's They've not necessarily buy a house, but put a down payment on a house yeah. and you go from there. Yeah, put a down payment. Because all you need, I mean, like, they have plenty of capital from mm -hmm. what they've gained so far. Mm hmm It's true. You know? It's pretty true. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about finances some more. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, over the Missoula County Fairgrounds is the University of Montana Spring Rodeo that starts Finally. at 7. Uh, and then over at the Zoo Town Arts Community Center, we've got some music. We have Sioux Falls, Wrinkles, and Mido Skip. Uh, and then at the Roxy Theater at 7, they're starting their Seppuku Cinema Series, number two. Um, and so this is, what this is, is, um, so it's the, it's like, Grindhouse, they call it Art House meets, grind, meets Grindhouse in 1970s Japan. So I, I guess I'm trying to find the words to it's explain It's like a violent it. Japanese um, movie, movie from the 70s. But not as violent. Yeah, so it's, it's like. It's Art House. Yeah, so it's kind of like, it's like gory 70s movies from Japan. That but not are, as gory because it's Art House. I that guess. are done really artistically. So yeah. they just splatter the blood on a white canvas and they call it art. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so um, the films will be Lady Snowblood 2 um. and Female Prisoner 701 Scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> They're from the 70s. It looks kind of cool. They sound um, like you could find them online. Yeah, and, maybe. And like you have to like watch them in the dark. They alone. sound like video games. Lady Snowblood 2 and then like Female Prisoner 701 Scorpion. They sound like video games. No, they sound like a porno. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say it, but it totally Very does. hurtful one. Very torturing one. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. This is some plays that are going on. We've got uh, over at the University of Montana is Romeo and Juliet starting at 7.30. We've got Dance New Works also at the University of Montana at 7.30 in the Part TV Center. Um, Mary Poppins, the Broadway musical, will be at the MCT Center for the Performing Arts at uh, 7.30. I actually got to interrupt you for this one. I was this close to auditioning for this. Why didn't Very you? Close. Busy. Oh, yeah. There's so many commitment. There's, oh, it's a yeah. lot of commitment to do this mm -hmm. and I would have been like I mean like I'm already like overwhelmed as it is with yeah. this whole give local thing yeah and um so um a couple of my kids in my after school programs are in the Mary Poppins Aww. so you guys can check it out um uh, um one of them is a girl named Brianne and the other one is Jack and he's cool. uh and they're both from both different schools and it's like oh so you know Jack and she's like oh. 
<laughs> like she loves him or she hates him? Like hates him. <laughs> and I told her, I was like, well, you know, he's a diva. All kids from CS Porter are divas. Yes. Uh, and then all kids from like Washington School are like chill, but at the same time they don't really do anything. Yeah. <laughs> They're chill and lazy and then CS Porter kids are divas and active. <laughs> like super active. <laughs> they want to do this, but they all want to be in the same shot. They all want to be in the same shot at the same time. Yeah. That sounds awful. And you just yelling and screaming. It's just... And uh, it'll end next week. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and then basically we kind of have a month off until summer camp mm -hmm. start or whatever. Yep. I don't know. The month of July, yeah. Okay, I'm almost done with this music yeah, we are tour so tonight. Close. Okay. So close. So Purple Rain, there's a free screening of that movie at the Wilma Theater at 7.30. Uh, Mudslide Charlie is playing the Union Club at 9.30. Tom Catmull and Radio Static will be playing the Sunrise Saloon at 9.30. Oso oh Negro with DJ Street Jesus, more. Will be at 10 <laughs> nice. at stage 112. Landon Wardswell, Dar, and Tons of Fun will be at stage 112 at 10. Oh, looks like there's going to be a bunch of music over there. And then Full Conception will be at Top Out Lounge at 10 o'clock as well. That looks is, really good. Full yeah. Conception, I looked him up. I was like, hmm. Really? Yeah, cool. It looked pretty good. It's like, uh, it's well, it's folk music. Yeah, it's it, folk music. But they're, <laughs> but they, they, they they've been around for a long other, time. They use other genres of music within themselves. So. Cool. Yeah, it's 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 folk music. Sweet. <laughs> I'm yeah. just like trying to convince people. It's like no, it's just it's like folk, every other folk music. Folk inception. So, like. Yeah. Yeah. But of course, uh, I do have a nice little PSA for you guys, um, and this is a give local PSA. And I think this is uh, honestly, if you read into this, um, I know Noel get, Noel will definitely get kicked out of this. <laughs> but this is like a give local um, with a d bunch of community, um, like a nonprofit um, leaders coming together for this one little. Um, for the uh, Missoula Community Foundation, um, Give Local, kind of like, hey, how's it going? I'm here, Give Local. Sure. Here it is. I'm Mark Moss from Telesec. I'm Amy Solenberg from Climate Smart Missoula. I'm Joel Baird from Missoula Community Access Television. I'm Heidi Wallace with NCBI Missoula. And we, we receive, receive support from, from Missoula, Missoula Community, Community Foundation. Foundation. Give once and support all of your favorite nonprofits. Donate to Missoula Community Foundation on May 3rd during Give Local Missoula at givelocalmissoula.org. Thank you. They support us. And us. And us. And us too. Give once and support all of your favorite nonprofits. Donate to Missoula Community Foundation on May 3rd at givelocalmissoula.org. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. You guys, that was so good. <laughs> that was ridiculous. That was awkward. Like, I, 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 like at the so very end, you could totally see that Mark Mosh was totally like ready. Yeah, yeah, ready. yeah. Like, Anytime Mark is on our show, even before we cut to a PSA, he's always just like, we just say, walking off the screen. Like, okay. Mark, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, I, I'm Mark Moss, okay. and you're, um, okay. you're, you're you. Okay, I'm hey, you. You're you and me. Okay, I'm you and me. Oh, wow, this is hard. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, everyone, okay. this is what Mark does. It's so funny. Yeah, okay, we'll be right back after this. My boy! <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, like, he would go, basically, he just says, oh, thanks for joining us. Yeah, and walks right out the screen. <laughs> well, and I would just think that he's used to doing that on Tell Us Something. You know? Used to, he doesn't ever tell Once us something. Once he's done talking, he's... Yeah, he, and when he's, like, Mike's, presenting Mike drops the mic. to the woman, like, he just, like, says and is like, I'm out. He doesn't have to wait for, like, a PSA or freeze. <laughs> And yeah. smile. <laughs> but I believe the next uh, Tell Us Something is coming up, and I do believe. It's June. Um, I did ask them, I mean, mm -hmm. they are going to try to do like a summer program for the kids' speeches and whatever. Oh, cool. Because I remember last year, our very own kid, uh, Mason. Oh, yeah. Not our teen, but our kid, Mason. Mm -hmm. um, he did a Tell Us Something kids' mm -hmm. version, and maybe we showed it, and yeah. it was adorable. It was adorable. Uh, Jack and Mason are the best. Yeah. Little cat moles. They're great. Of course, their dad's playing tonight. He is? At the Union Club. Yes. Nope. No, That's Mudslide Charlie. Where's he playing? He's Tom playing Cat Mole will be oh, at, at the Sunrise, the Sunrise Saloon. And so, and then he's got some pretty chill kids. <laughs> His kids are so cool. Okay, so this is what's going on in your community on Saturday. So, uh, starting at 8 a.m., well, meeting at 8 a.m., over in the UM Adams Center parking lot in the northwest corner. This is put on by the Five Valley Audubon. That doesn't sound sketchy. No, it sounds so sketchy. Um, but they're doing a hunt for spring birds on Brown's Lake Trip. 
Um, and so they will all uh, drive up there together and hunt for spring birds, and they'll be back by 5. So just call 549-5632 if you want some more information. All right, tomorrow, starting at 9 a.m. over the historic Fort Missoula is Forestry Day. Um, and so this is 20th Annual Forestry Day as a professional logger sport competition. So loggers from all over the world are going to come and compete. It's so um, cool. Yeah. So it's $10 for families, $2 for students, $3 for seniors, $4 for adults. Kids 6 and under get them free. So that's so affordable. That's great. Uh, over at Hellgate High School, they've got a used book sale starting at 9. Also at 9 is a Bitterroot Runoff Trail Runs. It's a 5 mile, 10 mile that is uh, outside of Lola, Montana. There is a bike swap over the Missoula Fairgrounds starting at 10 a.m. You can sell and or, you, or, and or buy a used bike. Yeah. Wildlife Extravaganza is happening at the Montana Natural History Center starting at 10 a.m. That's just a full day of education. Over the Kettle House Northside Tap Room, we've got a Kettle House Northside Shuffleboard Tournament sign-ups. So if you want to play in Shuffleboard Tournament during uh, May 5th through 7th, you can sign up starting at noon tomorrow. It's like this small little shuffleboard with a, a bunch of salt on the table. and you. I th yeah, but I think they'll probably have multiple, you know, because it's Craft Beer Week, so I would imagine that they they're would probably, like... They're going to need a lot of things to keep people in their tap rooms. Yeah, it's something... Drinking their beer. Yeah, and so it's something like, okay, so sign up starts at noon is open the first 64 teams of two to register. Wow. Yes, that's First 64. Yeah. Great. <laughs> that's ambitious. Yeah, right? <laughs> It'll happen. They'll yeah. do it. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to go to the um, sketchy parking lot for some bird <laughs> hunting. Yeah. Because spring birds brings... <laughs> Holiday geese. Yeah. <laughs> spring birds bring food. <laughs> that was real quick. I actually was thinking about that after you said that. Yeah. Nice. We're like five events in, and we're, people have pretty much forgotten about that yeah. sketchy parking lot <laughs> they uh, did. event. Yeah, they totally did. <laughs> we're not that nice. <laughs> uh, okay. We're great. Um. All right, so over at the Rhino, we've got a Montana beer uh, blind tasting that starts at noon. It's $7 for a flight of four seven-ounce Montana-made beers. You just have to tell uh, which one is which. Usually the blindness comes after. And then you'll get a great price. <laughs> okay, over uh, behind Meralt's Travel Plaza, they've got a Mutter's Day off-road races. That's tomorrow at noon. Um, yeah, so they're just going to be in the mud racing. You can watch for five dollars. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Over at Milltown State Park at 1:30, there's a Forest Health Day. Uh, they're going to be talking about the thinning process that they've been doing to improve the forest health. Yeah, pretty sweat. Uh, over at Lolo Hot Springs, there's a Spring Awakening camp out that starts at 4:30. It's going to be fire spinning, dance performances, and interactive family activities. So it sounds like the perfect opportunity for little hippie families. Uh, over at Free Cycles Smart 5 is a Free Cycles Benefit Concert. Um, let's see. There's no cover, but donations are appreciated. I don't know how they're going to raise money if they don't charge covers. Okay, over at the Northside Kettle House at 5 is Dinner and Music with Burn Street and Hardwood Heart. That is the last of their Saturday Night Music Series. Imagination Brewing Company has got a Saturday Music Series as well. They've got Gary Kiggins Trio. Starts at 6. Wolf and the Moons will be playing at the Missoula Brewing Company at 6. Uh, over at Martha Jane's Uptown Dance at 6.30 is Community Swing Dance. It's only uh, $7 per person. Oh, at the Crystal Theater, they're having a night for charity and hilarity. Um, and so it's benefiting the Children's Museum of Missoula and Families First. Oh, tickets are 50 bucks per person. But that's, you know, it goes to a benefit. Uh, over the Denison Theater at 7.30, we've got a World Rhythms concert. Which we will be filming, too. It's Great. amazing. I bet it is It's, like, amazing. literally, like, the best thing that comes out of the music department, in my opinion. Yeah, I bet it is. It's all, like, percussions. They have, um, okay, so here's a little bit of, um, little bit of, um, trivia for you guys. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the steel drums, you know, the, uh, you mm -hmm. know, like, those Jamaican steel drums that they play? Well, the guy who makes those steel drums out of those Oreo barrels is lives in you know Montana. Oh, cool! And he's like the only white guy they entrusted to make these steel drums. That's awesome. That's cool that he lives in Montana. Yeah. Sweet. Someone should do a project on him. Do you know where he lives? No. 
The University <laughs> where he lives. Yeah, where he lives. <laughs> well, the University of Montana does. You um, does he to, live uh, in Missoula? Doc, I think the person to interview you should talk to um, Dr. Bob Ledbetter. He's the percussion guy at the University of Montana. Well, the University of Montana has a class in the journalism department that um, every year they do this segment called Made in Monta Business, Made in Montana, mm -hmm. which airs on public on PBS. And so they follow a, like a local like a local business people or like production or manufacturer in Montana that makes things and so that would be an awesome yeah. little documentary to go see this guy make steel drums and if I'm wrong you can expose me yeah you can Scott's giving you permission he'll see you though sorry but I won't care I'll be like good for you and then I just walk away yeah. and you, you just feel even more frustrated that you went through all that work for nothing <laughs> that's what he literally does that's Scott <laughs> that's what Scott does he will do that to you <laughs> and you'll feel worse about yourself than you did in the beginning <laughs> And then you'll be like, how did that happen? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay, guys. There's more to life than um, doing, doing things for people. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. <laughs> okay, I've got a couple more events, you guys, before we move on to our flagship Friday video. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we've got 80s Prime at the Wilma at 8. Uh, absolutely with Chris Moon at the Badlander at 9. Pedal Fest 2.0, day 3. That'll be at Monk's at 9. <laughs> Josh Farmer Band Union Club at 9.30. Nice. Jack Shiver at the Sunrise Saloon at 9.30. The Last Revel at the Top Hat Lounge at 10. And Universal Choke Sign will be at Stage 12 at 10. Uh, as always, you can check out MissoulaEvents.net, University of Montana website, The Independent or The Missoulian for more events in your community. I get all of my information from MissoulaEvents.net. So you can look on there at the things I've talked about as well as things I haven't mentioned. Hey, um, Noel. Do you like uh, do you like um, aliens? Yes. You you do. So sure well, do. you're about to like this next uh, flagship Friday video of the week. Oh, great! Featuring the kids from Washington Middle School. That's my aliens. Sweet. <laughs> There's something about those two girls. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure they just knocked that book down. And last week, I went to the bathroom, and over where her sink was, there was this glowing light, and I saw Shelby's shoes. Yesterday, at Brooke's locker, I saw this jar full of, like, this green stuff, and when I looked at her, she closed her locker <laughs> really quick. Wow. They are creepy. Weird. <laughs> really weird. Yeah, they're like a pop tart. <coughs> Except I don't like pop tarts. I like pop tarts. I like roses too. And chocolate milk. Yeah. Mm. I don't like pop tarts. I like glass. How do you not like pop tarts? What are you doing? Don't talk to them. They're aliens. You guys are aliens? <laughs> no. No, we're not. Extinguisher. They're aliens. I can't be hanging out with them or they're gonna kill you. Why? They seem pretty normal to me. They're not normal.
miles would it be from Missoula to Great Falls? Yes? 180 human miles? Yeah. What? I. We said 180 miles. But yeah, that's nice. 180 miles, that's. Definitely okay, what I um, said. Uh, it takes 180 miles approximately to get from Missoula to Ray That's really weird. I told you. What? Aliens. Uh, what's going on? Those two girls over there? They've been acting really weird and we think they're aliens. Hi. What are we gonna do about this? Guys, shh, we probably shouldn't be talking about them when they're just right there. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I can't find him anywhere. No. Hmm. I wonder where he went. He doesn't know what he's doing. Where'd they go? I saw Matthew a couple seconds ago. Basically, he's committing suicide. What? Well, he was following those two alien girls. They are aliens. So, listen, I, I'm su I was supposed to be picked up, which was like five minutes ago, so I gotta go. Try not to die, or die, I don't care. Still born. Still born. Hey. That, that was kind of weird. Yeah. A psychological thriller. It was, yeah, it, the, the music was so smooth, soothing and calming. I just wanted to fall back asleep. Me too. But yeah. time to wake back up, Missoula, because it's time for your the rest of your day because we're done. We are done. We're done. We're, we're done. Finished. We're out. We're gone. Our green's gone. We're leaving the scene. Yes. Actually, we come here so we can get green, that's so we true. can go to the scene. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yes, that's usually how it works. Yeah. Unless like it's free, but then you have to pay for something, and otherwise you feel guilty Ugh. for not doing something. It's so it's so weird. It's like it, it, it it's like you go into a place and it's like you can't window shop and not buy something. It's, it's true. almost hard. It's true. You always have to buy like I get a Snickers. Mm -hmm. Like you go to Walmart and not buy anything, you you get looked at like you're. Free. Why do you even go there if you don't buy anything? Yeah, that's the reason people go there to buy cheap things. Oh, I And didn't... to sell out. 
I wasn't sure why they And, were... you know, be like, oh, I don't believe in your establishment, but I'm still going to buy from you. <laughs> Whatever. Wait, what am I talking about? No, let's finish the show. Uh, to find out more information about Wake Up Missoula, you can log on to wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice, it made you write it out twice. You can like us on Facebook. You could follow us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. <laughs> you can like, you can follow Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook, and to find out more information about MCAT, go to MCAT.org. But if you want to get in touch with us, you can call us at 542-6228, otherwise known as 542. MCAT! You can email us MCAT at MCAT.org if you have any inquiries and you want to be on our show to talk about your upcoming event, cause, rally, concert, all sorts of things, any kind of special thing that's going on here. Workshops, yeah. Remember, yeah. We're, like summer is all about workshops, so we're gonna probably be um, calling up a bunch of people who want to advertise their summer camp. So we'll we'll we'll, we'll just ha invite them on and just say like our summer camp's better to their face instead yes. of to, to them right here. Yeah, that's just not nice. You know, we don't know face. if they're gonna watch it, so it's better just to say it to their face. Just come and we could just say it to you. Yeah. Instead of behind your I back. I would totally say it to your face. If you had a different summer camp, I'll be like, nice summer camp there. Oh, you have a summer camp? Please, yes, what's it about? Yes, we do have a summer camp. So let's talk a little bit more about our summer camp. So, of course, if you're interested in our summer camps, you can go to our website, mm -hmm. MCAT.org, and you see this nice little um, page right here. You click on it, and you can download the um, registration form. Yeah. And the registration form is either for um, wildlife starting in June 20th through the 24th, Animation Camp, which is July 11th to the 15th, and Zombie Workshop Film Camp for the Teens for, from July 25th to the 29th. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, you can either choose one or you can choose all. But of course, um, sessions are filling up right now, which is mm -hmm. crazy, but of course they'll fill out even more in the summer. So if you are a procrastinator, you the spots will totally be filled we usually have about 12 spots available for each session and pretty much animation um, workshop has been filled up to about nine. Oh, awesome so is like three or two i haven't even checked recently a couple it's more been a spots week left so. yeah and we have our stop animation saturday drop-in so yes, every we do. saturday we have a we host a saturday um drop-in animation of course we do some live action stuff so we're probably gonna have to rebrand and just do just MCAT Saturday drop-in where we just do some stop animation it's a nice little go-to the kids get a nice little and it teaches them um, patience mm -hmm. and to concentrate on one task at a time which is mm -hmm. almost impossible but when they do it it's like stay it's super surprising it is and they often create some really excellent movies when they do do that and then of course we're having that party on I believe it's May 17th mm -hmm. Yep. And that's where we're going to be hosting all the parents and it'll be, be more like a child appreciation day. Yeah. Where we'll be showing all the kids videos and we'll give all the parents who were in the um, SAP Animation summer camps um, a DVD disc or if they want to bring a thumb drive they can also download it digitally. So yes. we're going to have all that stuff and then of course we'll give it to Lori. Um, and then we, you guys will get a chance to see all the stuff we've done and I believe we have over two and a half three hours worth of stop animation mm -hmm. and live action stuff. So pretty much an hour and a half is devoted to live action. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so <laughs> we have been doing this program since October of last yeah. year. And so it's been, it's this was its first inception and it's been awesome. It's, it's been, been a really roller coaster of emotions to say the least. It sure has. It's been, it's been very popular and uh, yeah, I think the most we've ever had was 17 kids and then the least yeah. we ever had was one. Oh yeah. So. One to seventeen. All right. So no, no, well, um, you know, we didn't have ASAP here. And, no, we didn't. Um, Lori's not even here. Mm -hmm. Lori's not even here. It's just us. It's just us here at MCAT. So I just want to say thank you for joining me. Yes. And thank you, Scott. Yeah. Thanks, Wake Up Missoula. Thank you, Missoula, for Thanks tuning in. Thanks, everybody, for joining us this morning. And waking up. It's gonna be. A, it was. It's a great Friday, and I hope you guys enjoy it because um, I probably won't. Yeah. <laughs> Scott hates everything. <laughs> no, I just have to work all day. <laughs> I do too, but and I, I have got fun. like three hours of sleep last night. Ugh. That sucks. That's it's awful. So bad. Maybe maybe, maybe those three hours were the REM sleep, which was like the important sleep. You know. I hope your sleep was important. Yeah, my <laughs> sleep. Well, your sleep is important. <laughs> okay. And so. <laughs> we're done. Thanks for joining us, everybody. For and I'm Noah McFoy. And I'm Scott Ramph. Thanks, everyone, and we'll see you Monday. Thank mm -hmm. you.